Welcome back to Have a Sim Boyfriend. This is Sida. And I'm Chancellor. Welcome back, guys. Evening, everyone. Tonight we have a beautiful French fragrance house, Guerlain Souffle de Parfum. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Got the Shalimar part initially. Shalimar Souffle de Parfum. Uh, this fragrance has been out for a while. Don't recall the exact year right now. I don't really think about years too much for fragrances, just whether I like the scent or not. Uh, I love this beautiful bottle. I love like the ornate bottles. You don't see bottles like this too often, the fan shape, even for any fragrance house, but I would say Guerlain does really beautiful bottles. They're definitely known for unique bottles. But we'll go ahead and get into the notes. So first we have with the notes is uh, Citrus is at the top, lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange, orange blossom, sandback, jasmine, and uh, vanilla, lots of vanilla, and white musk. I would say really beautiful, straightforward notes. Very unique smelling. Uh, definitely has that Guerlain signature, the Guer Guerlainade, uh, that vanilla mixture, kind of that, that signature that you get with Guerlain fragrances. Um, I love Guerlain Fragrance House, one of my favorite fragrance houses because I just love the elegance of this house and I love the uniqueness of the perfumes without it being um, just overwhelming or too complex sometimes. You just smell beautiful. I, I would say that. You smell beautiful whether you're a man, you're a woman, it's just very yeah, unique. Yeah, most, most definitely. This is one of those ones that's, uh, it seems linear, it seems simple, it's uh, it's really not, but it's not overly complex either. It's uh, it's straight to the point, you kind of get the notes up top, but then during dry down, it turns into like a really smooth, mellow, all seasons, his and hers. Right, absolutely. I would say this is, could be a signature fragrance because you can wear it literally every single day and you smell interesting, um, but not overly complex. I would say for me, on initial spray with this one, you get the citrus. I would say you get a, a blast of the mandarin orange and, and lemon mostly. And But it's not like a screechy, cleaning lemon. It's just like a really bright, almost like a lemon pound cake. You know, you get a fluffiness, which is that vanilla under the citrus. I kind of get like like a, yeah, like a soft uh, vanilla -y almost cupcakey, fluffy sort of sort of scent. Right, absolutely. Um, I wouldn't say, but it's not gourmand. It doesn't smell like food. Not that sweet. Right, exactly. It doesn't smell like food. It just, you know, it gives you that impression of the fluffiness of something like bread or, or something that's been baked or something like that. Very warm smelling. And then um, I would say you get some jasmine. The acid, the sweetness under the citrus. Um, as mostly get jasmine with the floral. And then straight up just vanilla and jasmine and, and musk on, on the, um, but the musk is subtle. Um, it's not overly animalic or anything like that. It's just very clean smelling. Mostly vanilla. Vanilla and a lemoniness, a uh, lemon pound cake kind of kind of scent. Um, it has great longevity. I would say this is not a crazy projecting fragrance where it's just going to protect a lot, not lots of sillage, but I would say you get whiffs of it here and there. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I would say you get really good whiffs of the fragrance um but it it's not like it doesn't project crazy though right it, it's just um yeah it, it'll be a beautiful office scent i would think it'll be a beautiful scent every single day you know you wouldn't get a headache i would say it's a skin to mint Ooh la la it's an intimate skin fragrance um right uh, most, most definitely this is something you're definitely going to want to wear out on date nights or even just lounge around the house uh yeah. it's, uh, it's something that's going to allure the uh your partner or the person that you want to attract to you i agree with you it's like an essence right it's like a, your skin scent like as if someone could naturally smell like this if you smelled like a, a fragrance all the time <laughs> yeah and oh. the thing is it's like uh the word souffle uh in french i take it to mean as breathing breathe I uh, kind of did a little bit of research on the mm. word, and it doesn't just mean like the, the dish where, where it's cheeses and eggs and all that kind of stuff, but it, it really means to breathe. So when I think of a, wow. and it's a skin scent, you know, you, you take it in because it doesn't project really well, you get a nice... You can just inhale in the sunlight uh, the whole time. Wow. It's nice so and it's, like, it's, it's smooth. So it's kind of like saying the breath of Shalimar. So we, mm. we all know that Shalimar is like a classic fragrance for um, the Guerlain Fragrance House. Mm. Now for me, Classic uh, Shalimar is not a love for me. I can appreciate the scent, but I do not like it for me. I get a lot of le leather. I get a screechy, uh, animalic, uh, almost like a, a, it, not a sweetness. I don't get vanilla. Some people get a lot of vanilla with that one. I get lots of citrus lemon and, and leather. And, and I know the civet in, civet in there, which is um, that animal essence uh, the, the, from the civet cat. 
Um, yeah, it's just very animalic. It, to me, it's not easy on the nose. It's, it's a little difficult for me to smell. <laughs> when we test these fragrances together and she gives me a little whiff or whatever, I, this was a wow one for me. And then with it leading more feminine, especially during dry down with a lot of, it's a lot of uh, white musk and vanilla I'm getting during dry down. I'm still, um, confident enough as a man to wear it myself during all seasons you know i, I think that I, it was it smells great on my skin i'll wear it all the time right absolutely would you mix this with things so chance i would say it was very unique for him is he likes to mix his fragrances when he wears them he'll wear two fragrances i've been doing it i've been doing it a lot lately yeah yeah, uh, you, you're right. Uh, lately, right, because you're right. Before you just wear one fragrance at a time. Now you mix it. You kind of mix it. I give Chance those samples. He likes to mix them and put them on together. I think it's really unique because I naturally don't do that. I wear one fragrance at a time. I don't really, not really into mixing fragrances too much. But it smells really good. It's like really unique fragrances. One, we'll do a video one day about Chance and his mixing. And he'll kind of guide you on how you mix things. The mixologist. <laughs> right. Absolutely. This is um classic fragrance um not classic in the sense of dated or or for older uh people i would say it's neutral age i think i think it's more about the personality i would definitely say it's mature um i'm not saying that this is going to attract you know teeny boppers or anything like that but it, it holds its own weight to where uh, you know a, a more mature person kind of knows what they want know where they're going who's like sophisticated and confident they're going to want that they're going to smell this and be attracted to this i personally what do you mean mature do you mean personality mature? wise or age no personality wise i'm not saying like you have to be a certain age to wear this like i'm not saying that at all but a person with a certain mindset a certain sort of um a certain sort of energy about them okay i found it interesting because i've had this fragrance for years i would say i brought this in my mid-20s uh, not that it was that long ago, but mid 20s, so I was just really attracted to the scent. So she probably was mature in her early 20s, that's what I'm saying, and she, she was. Yeah, I just like the elegance of the scent. I, I didn't think it was something for every day. I could picture myself wearing a certain outfit or a certain look and just a certain vibe I was in and wanting to smell like this fragrance. I feel like it would exude that me perfectly on that day. So real quick, like, what are you wearing? Like, what do you picture yourself wearing when you have this on? And then what season are you wearing it in? I would say spring, summer, uh, fall, mm. and I'm wearing maybe um, a, a really tailored dress or even a, a, a tailored um, pantsuit. Just, just simplistic looking. Nothing over. No, nothing. That's too crazy. Not like. Um, not that I dress like that anyway. But you know, it's just yeah, very elegant. <laughs> She's very stylish, but not overtoned. And me, personally, with this sort of scent, man, I would wear a suit. This is like a tailored mm. suit. You know, like your classic black uh, suit, white shirt, tie, or tuxedo. Um, you know, maybe the kitten heels or the pointed toe uh, shoes. You know, it's really, really classic and elegant, I would say. I, I would like to wear that. Yeah, it smells really good on Tansla, too. I smell the vanilla and everything like that. It was, um, and I actually have um, Eau de Chalamar, too. So we're going to probably talk about that. In the, not probably. We'll talk about it in another video. So that one's very lemony. It, it, it's like, it's, it's, T different interpretations of, of Shalomar toned down in certain ways notes from the fragrance but I wouldn't say anything is up uh, these flankers aren't like just straight up Shalomar just different versions of our different concentrations like they're they, oh, they hold their own Wait, let us know have you tried any now I'm, I must admit Guerlain discontinued a lot of their fragrances uh, over the last year I'm look, I'm very sad because I love the Guerlain fragrance house I know they have something really good in store for us as far as I don't know for sure but I'm guessing they do I can't wait to get back in my gear lawn and start like buying it up again because I really miss shopping gear lawn. Um, but yeah, those, that's definitely a staple of her. She really does love the uh, the Guerlain house, and I love it on her. And I personally like some of the fragrances for myself too. Yeah, the fragrances really speak to me. I just love just femininity. Um, you, that that femininity. When I say femininity, not in the sense of only for women. The, the feminine side of a personality. You mm -hmm. know, that just the elegance. Of what, of what a, a lady should be or what a, somebody who has feminine traits meaning you could be a masculine you could be a masculine man you could be um heterosexual let's say and still have a feminine side you know i would say this touches on the elegance of femininity versus versus being a woman if that makes okay. sense okay <laughs> I, I, I get it. yeah well guys thank you again for joining us for another evening with heaven sent boyfriend we do appreciate your company and coming back and spend another evening with us but don't forget to like share comment subscribe we always look forward to your comments and uh let us know what you guys are wearing spring is like in another week uh what are you guys wearing and then have you guys tried shalimar yeah or what are your favorite girl on fragrances in general let us know 
All right, guys. So until next video, we'll see you next time. All right, bye. Bye.